Got shop problems? We can help. My name is Ryan Kelly. I'm a manufacturing and supply chain technologist for AMT. My job is to get tech into industry faster. Today, we're solving manufacturing challenges with bite-sized solutions. Give us 10 minutes and we'll give you a smarter shop. When humans are left to manage an unmonitored process, it's just a matter of time before a mess gets made. Take dust collection, for example. Our smart solution to this common shop problem costs just a few hundred dollars, takes a few hours to install, and can send alerts directly to your email. To talk us through this, I'm joined by Adam Allard, Senior Manager for the Autodesk Technology Center. Adam, hey, Ryan. Good to see you. Thank you. So, uh, tell us a little bit about where we're standing in the Autodesk Technology Center. I know Autodesk makes software. Why is it that you have this wood shop? Well, we do make software, but we make software for people who make things. So, if we're going to understand how that's happening, we need places to do it ourselves. And that's one of the points of the technology centers. In this particular shop, we work on wood because it's a foundational building material for construction. So tell me a little bit about some of the projects that people are working on in, in this WitchUp. What are they using all these tools for? Well, it's a, it's a range of projects, but a lot of the projects are focused on digitally fabricated pieces. So we have CNC routers, we use robots to fabricate joints, uh, mass timber, you name it. So Adam, give me the backstory on this dust up. Yeah, Ryan. Well, we had multiple users in the shop one time. And when that happens, the shop is loud. The dust collector's on, machines are running, and we really lost track of what was going on in the overall scheme of things, and the dust collector actually overflowed. So tell me a little bit more about the dust collection system that you have here. Well, like most shops, we have a centralized dust collection system. We have a series of ducts that run through the ceiling, and there's a drop at every machine. So every machine has a dedicated dust extraction system, and it goes back to the centralized unit behind us. And so uh, what was it like in, in the shop when it, it overflowed? It was pretty chaotic, actually, because, you know, the dust started blowing out of the, the billows. It was a big mess, and we had to stop and shut down the whole operation. And how long did that take? Well, it actually took a couple hours. And that was what prompted us to think about a digital solution to this analog problem. I see. And so here it might be dust collection, but in a CNC shop, it might be yeah. uh, collecting metal chips or coolant. There's, there's a lot of sort of similar types of problems when you're collecting um, this sort of material. You bet. That way. Yeah. Okay, well, let's go take a look at what you did. All right. Okay, Adam, what are we looking at here? Well, Ryan, this is the centralized dust collection system. So this pulls dust from every piece of equipment in the wood shop. We have a 10 horsepower motor driving a squirrel cage fan that pulls dust and debris into this hopper. Heavy debris falls down into the barrel and the lighter debris goes up through these filter socks. The air gets cleaned and put back into the shop. So how do you make it smart? Well, to do that, I'm going to have Josh Egan explain how we actually did it. Hey, Josh. Hey, Josh. Hi. So we did three things. We installed this proximity sensor here in our dust collector. We installed our edge I.O. device made by Tulip, and we installed this beacon up above. The proximity sensor shines down into our bin, tells us when our bin is full. That sends a signal back to our edge device which then sends a signal out to our light stack. All right, so it's, you got a green when the collector is empty, turns to red when it's full. That's great for when there's someone here on the shop floor to see it. What if there isn't anyone here at the shop floor? What happens then? Our Tulip Edge device will communicate out through Wi-Fi to alert any of our shop staff that we've designated in the code. So it sends them like a notification, sends them an email? Exactly, yep, an, a notification or an email, yep. Okay, excellent. And so how, how are you able to tell that device uh, to do these things? So Tulip has set up a, a low code um, within the device, and basically I'm able to go in and, and specify which, which triggers and which actions I want to have happen. That sounds uh, complicated, it sounds like coding. Do you have a coding background? No, I'm a fabricator by trade, so um, you know, Tulip makes it really easy. They have step-by-step -step processes and tutorials. They also um, have broken the code down to be a lot simpler. And how long did it take you to figure that out? Uh, it, it took a few hours to figure out, but once I had you know, how the language sort of works or how the, how the coding sort of works, it was very simple after that. Adam, what are some of the other things that you're able to do with this, uh, these, these triggers coming from the I.O. device? Well, that's the beauty of the, the, the kind of no-code solution. You're able to start, once you get your head into it, you can start thinking about other solutions. And the other thing that we brought out was a maintenance log. So every time we have an email sent to shop staff, 
we log maintenance. So on an annual basis, we can see every time we empty the dust bowl. Wow, so in addition to sort of eliminating the downtime by these unforeseen problems like the dust bin overflowing, you're also saving some time by automating some of your record keeping as you bet. well. You bet. Okay, well, let's go through the, the bill of materials real quick. Let me see this sensor. So we've got our optical sensor here. What's the, the price on that? That's about a $40 sensor. It, moving down the line, we've got to go up to the uh, the tiny computer over here, the I.O. device. What, what's the cost on that? The the Edge I.O. device is a $600 device. Okay, and, and, and for that price, I would imagine it can do more than just uh, talk to this sensor. Is, is there more that, that you can hook up to this? Oh, certainly, yes. We could, we could hook a, another few machines up, no problem. Okay, great. And then we've got our stack light up here, and uh, what's the cost on that? That was about a $50 purchase, yeah. It's a pretty minimal investment uh, to eliminate the downtime, and it also has the ability to uh, speed up other parts of your process through doing some automation as well. Exactly. Adam, I'm sure some of our viewers right now are thinking, cool solution, but I don't have time to do something like that. What would you say to them? Well, I'd say, I understand. I ran my own shop for quite some time, and we were really concerned about getting product out. We were so busy just with the day-to-day. -day. We rarely had time to bring our head above water and take a look at anything. However, if we were to stop and take a look at some of these digital solutions to these menacing problems, I think it would have paid great dividends down the line. Well, there you have it. If you have a volume of materials problem, similar to the one we saw here today, you could keep wasting valuable time sweeping up unexpected messes, or you could install a low-cost solution like this and prevent them before they even happen. That's how this smarter shop took a bite out of downtime. Thanks for joining us. See you next time.